not certainly not worth one student having frostbite or being injured in some way uh, when we can uh, simply make the call to, to close down school for the day and then uh, of course uh, have two days built into our calendar to accommodate for that. We only have a handful of days to work with. Um, safety is always going to be the paramount issue but we still have an eye, we still have an eye on those days uh, which then eat into other calendar events later in the year which cause uh, further um, confusion for folks. Ultimately, the decision is at the discretion of each district's superintendent, but the state health department does make recommendations and ask districts to consider closing if temperatures are zero degrees or below and the wind chill reaches minus 20. If your school district does remain open tomorrow, health officials say you do have the right to keep your child home if you believe it'll be unsafe. Ashley. Okay, Ali, question for you though. It is not uncommon to cancel on account of the cold. So do you actually know when the last time that happened? Well, in the case of Lockport, the superintendent there tells me that the last time they had to close just because of frigid temperatures alone was back in February of 2015. So while it is rare, it does happen. We're live in Buffalo this evening. Ali Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much.